People who have been fans of Sesame Street since the beginning tend to hate Elmo. But why? Hey, holidays are every day, and today's holiday, yes, this counts as a holiday, is Elmo's birthday. Happy birthday, Elmo. He's an old man. But his character is actually portrayed as a three and a half year old. Um, it's a little pre fact that goes with the facts that I'm about to tell you. But first, familycrafts.about.com told me multiple ways to celebrate this holiday or celebrate Elmo's birthday. One of them being to eat a birthday cake in his honor. I got one right here. So before I give you some Elmo facts while eating some delicious cake, let's decorate this cake with Elmo's face on it. Okay, so I have some icing with some uh, different nozzles here. And uh, we got a plain cake, If you, as you can see, with this overhead camera here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try to put Elmo's face on it. I'm not an artist. And I don't study in cakeology. I don't study in cakeology, so I don't know how to open a cake. Oh, that hurt! I'm in pain! Not really, but I, I think you guessed that. Okay. Oh, it smells so good! It has direct. Don't worry. Don't worry. It has directions on the back to tell me exactly what nozzle does what. Thank you. I, I needed that. Actually, it's a little helpful. It doesn't help me. It doesn't. It doesn't tell me what what I need for Elmo's face. So, um, I'm gonna go with uh, with this here. Okay, what? This one, that one. Hopefully you can see that. I have no freaking clue. I've never, I, I don't think I've ever decorated a cake before. Is that bad? Oh, sh I've already ruined it. See, I've told you I haven't decorated a cake before. Luckily it fits on there. Okay, so Elmo's face is like, Hmm, we don't have any white frosting, so I'm gonna have to utilize the white on here for that. Dude, this icing isn't coming out. Is there something I gotta open? Oh my god. There's a freaking tab! It, I mean, it, it's just closed. Here we go. Can't mess this up. This ain't pen and this ain't pencil and paper. Okay, so you have some sort of plan. But let's just wing it. The frosting comes out like nothing. Oh my goodness! What? This frosting is incredible! Okay. So that's the messed up head. Okay, I'm gonna use that one for to outline the eyes yeah just like that yeah 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 one more yeah square eyes that's perfect and then let's put an eye here and an eye there yeah that I mean hey that looks like Elmo already I don't know that's it we're done we need to color in the rest of his head. I can't tell you how hard I'm pushing on this thing. Whew! You know what? I should try out for Cake Boss. Perfect! Now, we just need a nose. Unfortunately, I don't have orange frosting, but there is some orange frosting on this cake, so let's utilize that. <music> Ladies
ladies and gentlemen, we have created an Elmo cake. This came out better than I thought it would. I, like, I know it's terrible, but I... It's not horrible. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I don't know what you were expecting I could do. I was expecting I couldn't do that good. And that's still terrible. Fact number one, Elmo, a puppet, hosts the last 15-minute segment on a show, on a children's TV show called Sesame Street. You've probably heard of it. And his segment is called Elmo's World. Fact number two, he was puppeteered by a man named Kevin Clash from 1984 to 2012 and is currently puppeteered by Ryan Dillon from 2012 to present. Yes, Sesame Street is still running, which leads me to fact number three. Sesame Street has been running since 1969 with 46 seasons, and just in 2015, it went from a 60-minute program to a 30-minute program. And just on January 16th this year, 2016, it moved from PBS to HBO. Here's a random clip from Elmo's World this year. <laughs> oh, boy. Those penguins. <laughs> Dorothy's been thinking about penguins, too. And Dorothy has a question. How do you pretend to be a penguin? Oh, good question, Dorothy. Hmm. Oh, let's ask Mr. Noodle. He always has an answer. Oh, shade. Fact number four, Sesame Street has been running since 1969, but Elmo wasn't even in it until the early 70s, and even then he was just a background character known as baby monster uh, and didn't become an actual main character known as Elmo until 1984. Fact number five, Sesame Street staff writer Nancy Sands once described Elmo's origin. There was this extra red puppet lying around and the cast would pick him up sometimes and try to create a personality, but nothing seemed to materialize. And finally, fact number six, like I mentioned in the teaser, true Sesame Street fans tend to hate Elmo and the reason being Many believe that Elmo becoming so popular has taken away the spotlight from some of the other major original characters like Oscar the Grouch, Big Bird, uh, Cookie Monster, a lot of those characters. And they also believe that he's the cause for Kermit the Frog dying out. So that's why these people really hate Elmo. Thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe if you... Uh, haven't already and if you want to see the previous video you can click to see that when the next video comes out you can click to see that you know catch up a little bit if you aren't caught up and that's it <coughs> thanks for watching this cake is actually really good oh.